Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. And we're opening this up, kind of a different scenery. As you see, there's bags back here. That's right, we're leaving. We're leaving the farm, we're leaving our kids. We're leaving everything. And we're going to go have fun uh, for three or four days. And uh, we got on the road this morning. We are headed to the Oki Homestead Expo. We're super excited. Uh, we're a few days early. Um, we're actually gonna be coming up and help set it up and everything like that. And um, as y'all know, we have two puppies that are going to be going to different farms. I cannot tell you where they're all going right now. I know where one of them's going and I'm pretty sure they released it on their channel. Yeah, because they talked about it on live, but I don't want to give the other one away. So, um, yeah, but what, that's what brings us to this next point. We are in prior Oklahoma already, but I told y'all my favorite place is Tractor Supply. Not only do they have all the farming equipment and stuff, they have puppy wars. So, um... Some of you are probably saying, what's the puppy wash about? Well, I did not realize they had so many stick tights on them when we went to put them in the crate um, this morning. And then one of them decided to have an accident. So we're gonna go over here, clean them up, and uh, then we're going to head over to the walkers. Um, Gary and Cassie Walker with Walker Farm Fam catching up with the walkers. And we're going to drop our dogs off at their place uh, for a few days so it's all planned and everything so um anyways we're going to go in here give them a bath i haven't done this since i had max so let's go in there and uh give some dogs a bath all right guys we got them in here we're going to take them in here and give them a really really good bath and get the stick pots out of them and uh we're not far away we're going to start the party for this week so i love this place tractor supply Let's go get them clean. All right, guys, we've made it back here. Do it yourself, pet wars. No, no, no. That's about as much as car wash. So let's go in. Wow. It's been a long time since I've been in one of these, since I've had Max. But if y'all haven't ever shopped at Tractor Supply, just like the one back home that we always go to, um, they have it set up just like this. They got all the brushes and stuff, so that's how I knew to come here because Max, we used to brush him out and everything. So got all the shampoo, everything like that. So we got two bays and uh, yeah. You wanna do two at a time or one and one? I think two at a time or we're gonna be here forever. I'll go ahead and put my old handy dandy, what do you call this? Apron. Apron on, go do an apron now. Let's try one. All right, who's the first one up here? You can Come have on. the nasty one. Oh, the nasty one. All right. Yeah. What do you think one. about that? You're like, oh, you never had this. You didn't get a good wash. Get you a good wash out. You think their owners is worth all this? Oh, uh, I guess. I hope y'all enjoy this. And stay tuned. We'll let y'all know what farm they're go going to. Um, I can't give what state because that'll kind of give you an idea as well. That's boring. That's a good boy. <laughs> I don't want to smell that dog. Oh, babe. Probably a little bit of all, though, really. That deodorizing over here to make it smell better. And the oatmeal is what's going to really smell good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. 
And as you see, I got a different background here today. And yes, we have officially started our vacation. And uh, I always love coming up to this area. Most of y'all probably already know um, where we're at. And uh, if you don't, I'm gonna tell you here in just a second. So every time we travel up here, we actually bring animals from time to time. And luckily, as you can see in the background, if you can tell, if you if you don't know where we're at, um, the yellow bus right there might should help you just a little bit. But anyways, we're at Walker Farm Fam, uh, Gary and Cassie's, and I was just looking at his garden because him and Ransom was out here um, planting it the other day. Um, they're over there taking a look at the Highlands. But um, so as y'all know, we brought two of the puppies up, and those puppies are going to two different farms. Well, we can't say yet where they're going to go, but we will eventually uh, let you know. So um, also uh, we dropped them off this morning. I don't know if we put any video in there, but we'll show you the puppies here in just a second. And then um, as y'all know, throughout the week or the last couple of weeks, we told y'all we was bringing some eggs up for Cassie. And um, I think um, if we have too many, some of them are going to go down to bar, bar seven. So. Um, stay tuned and we will show you how many eggs we actually brought up here. Ransom, where's, where'd you get these chickens? The, what kind of auction is it? Peg's poultry auction. Peg's poultry auction. Them are some pretty, pretty chickens, you know it? Yeah. Oh, wow, that is a beautiful hen. Do you know that um, a lot of farmers, even if they did not have game hens, they would get game hens to raise their their babies because they make the best um, mothers. They're the best mother. Look at them little bitty babies. She is amazing. Beautiful. So that is a game bird, which probably got some hatch in it. So, but anyways, the puppies are running around down there with uh, Kevin and uh, Gary and the other kids taking a look at the cows. I think that's the newest baby calf as well. As we're moving over here, um, they're down there. Uh, Cassie, um, she just had a new baby that was born here not too long ago. Some baby doll sheep. And we're gonna turn around and zoom this in here. Look at those guys. They're so beautiful. All right, so the puppies made it back up here. Oh my. And the puppies have tore up Cassie's feeder. I cannot believe they tore her feeder up. So that is a feeder for chickens. I can't. Why did y'all come over here and tear up Cassie's chicken feeder, huh? Why? Is that some good stuff? Is that some good stuff? So, this morning, we actually took them to tr Tractor Supply, and we gave them a bath and stuff, so I'll see if I can find some of that footage now. I don't know how I'm going to put this video together, but I'll find some of that footage and put in here. That's the reason why they're so white. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. You need some more dogs around here, don't you, Ranger? No. You don't need no more dogs? No. Cassie, I'm afraid my dogs tore your chicken feeder up. Man, Brandon. That's going to be costly. That on your bill. Yeah, that's going to be costly. You know? Just a second, we're going to walk around and see some of... Uh, the the animals that um, Cassie and Gary has here on Walker Farm Fam has and catching up on the huh has accumulated has accumulated. Um, how many animals do you have now? Oh, who even knows? Maybe the Abbey will count for us. Count all the animals and see what they got. One time we counted, we had eighty nine. Eighty nine. Wow. You got more than that in goats. Eighty nine goats. Yeah, we have 80, what we have right at 89 goats. Go through here and look at all the animals 
And as you see in the background here, Kevin and Kimberly with Grounds Family Farm is with, did I say it right? Grounds Family Farm. I, I've been working on that. I've been working on it. People call me all kinds of stuff. And I just Cat, hey, Cassie and Gary's been calling them something totally different for the ever since we've known them. So, um, anyways, let's go back here and see some of the cool animals. And if you uh, love animals and you enjoy family farming, family stuff, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box of uh, Catching Up with the Walkers and Walker Farm Fam. Walker Farm Fam is the main channel. But uh, catching up with the walkers is other things that go on around the farm. You definitely want to follow them. And also with uh, Kevin with Grounds Family Farm, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box as well. Even the adults, if you don't want her to look on you, if you have a stick, she won't. Zena. <laughs> this is what I want to see. Look at them babies. Look at them baby goats. Wow. Well, tail's still hanging on by thread. One drop. When did it drop? Sometime last week. Oh, I didn't see that video. He's, that's the one's got. Is that a boy or a girl? This is a girl, but. I just noticed yesterday this month, or today this month. <laughs> Mama's saying, hey, that's my baby. You got her? <laughs> you got her? She's right there. Her, you got her. Whoop. <laughs> that's what you call a good mama right there. All right, guys, so this is the hay feeder that eventually i think i want to get one of these and what i like about it is they can go underneath and actually feed the goats and stuff can but um yeah some of them can go through that as well but um we may be able to put some other stuff in there and make them a little bit thinner that's some nice looking hay they got better hay up here Look at his teeth. <laughs> They're pretty. I love that color. All right, so we've made it here to the Mays County Fairground. We, we've been here for a, a good while. We just finished putting up the chairs. Um, yeah, so it's super exciting. I want y'all to look and see how straight these chairs are. I had to run, we ran a string line to get these straight. So y'all need to be sure if you're coming to the expo to make sure you keep these chairs straight. Let us know in the comments if the chairs are straight. This back one has got it. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're super excited uh, about this weekend. Um, we're still a few days off. Um, today's Wednesday, so we're just kind of setting everything up, getting everything ready. Um, and back here is going to be the concession, and there's another stage here, so um, that will all be broke down. But anyways, I sure hope you all get a chance to come up here and check things out. It grows each year. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, there's going to be a lot of cool vendors here. Um, a lot of nice food trucks, so we're looking forward to it. All right, guys, we have finally made it to the hotel. We're getting ready to go in and get checked in. We haven't got checked in since we've been here. We've been having a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of fun, catching up with a lot of a lot of friends, and it's been an amazing time. Um, we was actually we usually stay in prior, but um, we came over here and. Uh, was going to go ahead and stay here since uh, Cassie and all of them live in this town and we're gonna be helping out. Well, they went ahead, They had a couple extra rooms we could go ahead and have them. So 
it worked out perfect. So we're just going to go ahead and stay here. What's this? Lo Locust Grove. Yeah. Um, we're going to be staying here in Locust Grove. And uh, we've been here many, many times. And I'll tell you what, guys. This year's expo is going to be 10 times better than it was last year. So I you, think maybe 10 times bigger. Also. Yeah. It's going to be really, really <laughs> big. We're super excited. And uh, we're just glad to be here and to get to visit with our friends and hang out. It's a lot of fun. So... Um, we're going to go up the room and uh, we'll catch up with y'all in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. It's beautiful. I've always, we've stayed here most of the time. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So. All right. It's Thursday. We're starting to get everything set up. Sean's got this lake land set up. I guess so they're starting to vendors and stuff starting to show up right now. There's Premier One. They're here. Here's the food truck just showing up. What I'm kind of doing, or what we're doing right now, is getting everything set up so we can go ahead and put out our signs and stuff. This is kind of some of the stuff that everybody don't see. They just show up and everything's already set up. But there's a lot that goes uh, goes into setting this up. Like, you know, yesterday we come up and setting up all the chairs and stuff. So um, it takes quite a while to get everything set up like it is, but it's amazing and uh, we can't wait to get to meet each and every one of y'all. So what I'll do with these here is I will take these these um, these stops here and we're going to take them up front and then I'll lay them across so cars can't come in where there's gonna be people walking. So um, we're gonna go over there and start that now. All right, so we've got all those laid out here and the whole purpose of that we just don't want cars to come through here because that's where all the vendors and stuff are going to go all right guys so we got the the road blocked off where we need it um me and kevin's getting ready to actually start putting up the signs over here in this building so and a lot of this is just basically documenting it for my my purpose later on down uh, as, as life goes on look back on the memories and stuff For, uh, about noon today it's thursday everybody's coming in getting set up uh, vendors already starting to check in um which this morning they was here first thing this morning checking in as well now we've got them actually moving into the back here so it's everything starting to fill up it's just going to take a little time to get everything set up but at the end of the day it's going to be a lot of fun um three days going on here it's amazing um if you've never never been to one of these expos it's a lot of fun um i'm sure next year will be just as fun and uh we hope at least one day you'll get to make one of them so hopefully y'all enjoy the rest of the video if you're new to the channel please like and subscribe All right, guys, here we are, 2024. It's gonna be the third annual Oki Homestead Expo. People are still coming in, getting ready for the expo. And we are fixing to do the honor and set up for the expo um, sign to go up. We probably won't put it up tonight. We'll put it up first thing in the morning, but um, I just wanna shoot a little bit of video. I've done this for the last three years, so I'm gonna set up some footage to let you see us how we set up so i hope each and every one of y'all get a chance to be here if not make sure you get to come next year so i know so many of y'all live so far away and we just hope one day that you'll be able to come down here or hopefully one day there's an event where you live and we can actually um come out there and meet a lot of people so we're gonna get this set up So we'll 
do, we'll go ahead and fold this up. And we'll put this thing up first thing in the morning. We'll be ready to go. Uh, hey, looky here. We're just fixing to open it. They photo bombed us. Were y'all going to park over here? All right. Hey guys, we are taking a break from the expo. We are actually coming to this pizza place here. And this is going to be a surprise birthday party um, for Nico and his wife, Natalie. Well, Natalie's birthday, but Nico just had one as well. So we're going to take a break from the expo, go in here and eat some good pizza and fellowship and meet with some of our friends that we watch on YouTube all the time. And uh, yeah, just have a good time. It's been a great week and we're just gonna continue having a better week. So let's get in here and see some pizza. The table, everybody's sitting here. Cassie's gonna eat all the pizza. I'll take care of it, <laughs> I promise. Cassie's gonna eat all the pizza and- I already ordered my pizza before anybody else can. <laughs> <laughs> There's my Catania just getting here. What do we say, Surprise, surprise. Let her get all the way in first. All right, here she comes. The whole crew. Well, good morning, guys. Today is the day. It is March 22nd, the first day of the 2024 Okie Homestead Expo. It has been an amazing last couple days getting to prepare this with uh, everybody up here. Um, we've had a lot of fun um, getting to visit and fellowship with everybody, get to meet up with our old friends, and just have a good time. So, just like every year, we uh, we get here early and start taping everything off for the roadway and putting up the signs. That way um, they can park everybody, um, which it's not hard to set up anymore because this is three years in a row. So I think everybody's starting to learn their what they got to do the first thing in the morning. It's a lot easier setting it up. Now the first year, it was a little chaotic, but um, things are going good. Um, we're looking forward. Hopefully we have time to shoot a little bit of video today and bring y'all along. I'm sure we'll we'll show y'all a lot of the stuff. see y'all right, all right guys so we got the the middle set up as you see i don't know if you heard but that was the max the max have finally arrived they're going to get everything set up so it's going to be a fun day and uh hopefully you follow along and you watch all the way through the video and uh let us know what you like most about the expo it's going to be a lot of fun and if, if this is your first time here be sure to like and subscribe. It's daylight and it's official. Cars are already starting to come in. Um, they was here before the gates even started. But um, our goal today is to try to keep the traffic off the roadway. Nico and Kevin's right here at the front gate. So um, everything's flowing pretty good. And we got two in the back that's doing parking and we're putting the vendors up here. So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And throughout today, I'm just going to video some stuff. Uh, that way you can see what kind of goes on um, at one of these expos. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Um, it's a great family uh, experience out here. And it's just amazing to get to spend time with uh, family and friends and just get to know everybody and meet new people. So, All right, guys. They're starting to roll in. Look at the line. That's crazy. Here in just a little bit, I'm gonna to try to get some drone footage. It's starting to get backed up on the roadway. That's amazing. I'm gonna get some drone footage shortly. There's my beautiful wife there. There's Gary and Ransom. Looks like they're getting ready to go outside or they're leaving. They're in between uh, speakers right now. So everybody's eating lunch and they're getting ready to actually get up here and start singing. And uh, ought to be a lot of fun. 
Everybody's starting to come back in here, so it'll pick back up in a minute. But today's event, all these seats have been full all day long. So, Kevin, what you been doing? I hey, don't, don't, boy, don't look at him. He's a party pooper. I'm enjoying the music. Ed's back here. Ed went fishing with old guy. All right, guys, we just come out here to the back and look. Everything's set up here. We got some bounce houses for the kiddos. Look like they're having some fun. You got Joe right there with Premier One. Everybody knows Joe. Got all of his fencing. Got the bounce houses. And you got a little petting zoo over there for the kids. Because everybody's lined up for food my goodness there's tons look at all these little animals look at these babies they're so gorgeous oh i love the color of that one there you got the llama oh that's a beautiful llama too Got mama and a pig. Anyways, guys, like I say, every year it's better and better and better. And uh, we absolutely enjoy yourself. So we're going to kind of mosey around here and see some other people and uh, see if we can find Cassie and them with Walker Farm Fam. I seen Cody and Erica earlier, and we'll probably see them again before they speak. But we're going to go in the other barn. There's just tons, which it's amazing. Hanging out over here making some coffee. I love this little setup they got. You talking about a neat, neat setup. Everybody, we got to visit with them a little bit yesterday. And it was pretty neat. This is where you get your famous chocolate covered, chocolate covered cheesecakes. Um, we've already had ours. Steph's going to come over here in a little bit. Steph will actually be over here in just a little bit to get her some of those cheesecakes. It's absolutely delicious. We're going to move on back here to the back and see some of the other stuff. Uh, we haven't actually been over here today. All right, guys. So we're going to try this a little bit different now. Now they got a microphone. Uh, kind of give you the outline of everything the sun's finally come out uh, the lines of the food trucks are long but uh, Dutch and Brandy and Kevin and Rachel are trying to get some new food trucks here and uh, they've had a couple back out on them so um, yeah this is pretty neat I absolutely love this time of the year get to see so many people I love meeting with the subscribers it's amazing and as things slow down we'll get a visit with more and more as they day goes on what are you doing farmer red remember me calling you farmer red hey do you have any baby goats at home you do when was they born oh i got some news that you don't even know about your farm you better go talk to your mom and daddy uh, oh really all right Check this farm farm equipment out, guys. It'd be nice to have some of this at home, wouldn't it? Maybe maybe we get lucky and win a drawing or something, you know? Talking about the, the mobile butcher, I don't know what he's charging the process. He may be cheaper than that, but he's not freezing your beef and everything right there. That's your responsibility after it's, after it's done. Um, so call your local butchers where you're going to process that and say, hey, you know, if I bring you a calf in six months, you know, what are you going to charge? Well, it's an $85 kill fee. 
It's a dollar and five cents on the hanging weight, and then any specialty things you want to have done after that are going to cost you extra. We prefer to have all of our hamburger meat put into patties. It costs a dollar uh, a pound to do that. And it's, is it expensive? Yes, but it stacks so much easier. It falls quicker. It's, just, it's a lot easier to handle than chubs or, uh, you know, other ways of packing it. So that, know what your processing costs, costs are, because at the end of the day, when you add your calf, you add your vet, you add your processing costs, and then you add this marking that Erica's gonna talk about up, you know exactly what your break even cost is in your calf when he's finished. All right, guys, we just left the expo and it was an absolutely amazing day. And now we are going to go have dinner at the Amish, uh, Amish house or restaurant, whatever they call it. But it's just kind of neat, um, this, this farm country out here, which these are like Mennonites, I think, something like that. And some of these might actually be um, I know a lot of Amish have different rules, but was it last year that we went and ate at one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it was the first year. The first year. Yeah. yeah. The first year we went and ate at one. And let me tell you what, that was the most delicious food. Um, it was amazing. So we're super excited about it. And guys, this, this video, I always say I want to film more. I filmed quite a bit this year. And I hope everything goes together right. But um, it's going to be cool um, to get to see everybody tomorrow. Today was big. Tomorrow will be even bigger. But look at all this farm country. We are finally arriving here. Um, this is, we have not ate at this place. It's called Farmhouse farm Dinners. Farmhouse Dinners. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. Um, Ghosts are swinging. Yeah, look at the car. It's amazing. Oh, they got tractors and stuff. That's what they drive. They drive tractors. So that's pretty cool. Pull up here. All right, guys. Look at this setup. It's amazing. Look at this table. guys we just got finished eating there's been several that actually already left but um, there's some good food this is really really good so we'll see everybody in the morning at the expo throughout that show barn over there where all the vendors and booths are. They didn't want to put all of the demonstrators in one spot so they're not, you know, stepping on each other. But all of you, I'm going to introduce our first speaker of the day, Joel Salton from Poly Place Farm. <laughs> sings that the way it's supposed to be sung like they did if you don't cry you got some sort of stones in your heart that's all I can say and uh, I travel the world 
And uh, this place has some problems. We all know we got some problems here. Boy, you see that flag when you come through immigration, you just want to kiss the ground. You get these other countries, they don't have a Bill of Rights. They don't have a First Amendment. They don't have a Second Amendment. And uh, it's just hard to, hard to imagine living in those places. But it's great. Expo. Time is dwindling down. A couple more hours left. Um, it's amazing. We've had so much fun here. Um, amazing outcome. I think it's just amazing how many people come out to, to experience the Oki Homestead Expo and learn new things. There's so many things that come to them. I mean, you got plants. You have the ideal hatchery over here. Um, you got bees over here, which y'all know one day I will get in some bees, but I don't know when. I'll get with everybody. Look at this kettle corn. He's gonna dump it. Dumps it all in right there. He's gonna put some seasoning in it. How many batches y'all made today? Uh, let's see, we're on our uh, second batch. Uh, uh, 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Holy cow. Now, me and Stephanie actually did a live interview over here. So um, if you want to catch that, I'm going to put a link in the description box. If you haven't already watched it, I've already posted it, but we're going to definitely. I put something in there. These guys have got something great that they're trying to start here. And I think we look back three or four years down the road, it's going to be a lot bigger and a lot of people is going to want to um, go over there and watch because he's going to do a documentary on so many farms. So um, we're super excited that we was able to do an interview with them.